Even though it's a destination resort and, and um, our guests tend to come to the resort and stay at the resort, they still are spending money in the area. And they're, they're supplying local people with jobs. So it's a great boost to the economy. People were attracted here and uh, they helped support the economy in general, not just, just, just the hotel, simply by, by being here, moving around, being active, engaging in a variety of activities and they had to stop at the Esso station, or the Tidal station, and they had to stop for lunch on the way up, uh, and suddenly they, wouldn't come, they weren't coming all the way in a Pullman car, they were coming up in a Model T or a Hotmobile, uh, and so on the way up they had to stay overnight, and so we had a little overnight accommodations being built now, cabins, <clears throat> and, and then we'd go to motels, and, and then to hotels, and, and, and so on and so forth, and so that caused the the, the guests to become more a part and, a, and contributors to, to the local economy. There's been a lot of attention focused on the tourism economy in the state as a result of that. They were looking for more things to do and then that contributed to entrepreneurs uh, bring, uh, developing the other parts of tourism which are, uh, you know, retail, entertainment, uh, food and, and shopping. And just as a, an example of that, a perfect example is the development of Storyland in Glen, New Hampshire. The hotels were the leader, really. And back in the 50s and 60s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, there was no, the hotel people didn't talk to anybody else. And the gas crisis in 1973, I called up 50 people and said, we got a problem. And that's when we formed the Travel Council to figure out that really the travel industry was important. Up until that point in time, the, the legislature basically ignored us. We started promoting the idea that tourism was important to the industry of New Hampshire, right, and the economy of New Hampshire, and it worked. Uh, and now, even today, I think the uh, they they speak well about tourism.